hoe kabang eli lemo tse 137 tse fetleng hone ho sena naha e bitswang botswana le fatseng nalane e a botswana joalo ka mieli iohle e a africa e tsoa ho europe about 137 years ago there was no country called botswana on earth botswana's history like all other african borders came from Europe through the scramble of Africa and Berlin Conference 1884. Millions today who boast about their nationalities, territorial integrity, sovereignty, etc., are quite damn stupid. Sheep who enjoying foofs thrown at them by fake melanin-dominant gatekeepers like politicians, shepherd boys in European created paradoxes of Africa. They really teach this kind of history and they really emphasize it and pray that you keep locked in their paddock mentality. Are, are buwe ke, ke eng si o batlia se bonsa ka si ole ka nalane e awotswana. The title that we want to discuss is what would they really show about Botswana history. There is a lot of historical facts dot connections, archaeological angles, and interpretation, they will not emphasize or let you know about Botswana. Why? Because our educational system, politicians, are our enemies. And they will really show us the connections that we have all over the earth with many, many other civilizations, specifically with Hamid. Therefore, Botswana is connected to ancient Kush Hamid. Why? We shall show the proof why it is connected to those lands. There are several ethnic groups in Botswana. The largest of which by far is the Tswana, making up almost 80% of the total tribe's population. Other groups are the Basarwa, so-called Bushmen or Khoi. The first Chinese people were black. Chinese people look like this, our brothers and sisters, in the part they call Botswana, the Europeans call Botswana. The Sun people, so-called Bushmen, are pure Africans. They have light skin and they get a lot of sun, but they don't get melanoma. They hold the oldest DNA so far. Pure black Africans have got a diverse range of color. Black Africans have always come in various shades. This is Kamit where they now emphasize that they are light-skinned, but they are the same, they are Africans like that. In Chadic or West Central Africa, they look like that. This is the Oromo, look that, like that. Straightforward, no, don't be locked with the borders or continental borders. So, other tribes in Botswana are Basuria, Bayei, and the Hambukushu, Bakalanga. This collectively, they are known as uh, Botswana people. This is wrong because they are scattered all over without removing all the borders. Ancient animistic proofs in Botswana in the Kalahari Desert by archaeologists discovered evidence of organized activity dating to 70,000 years ago. And yet the Bible, if you remember very well, the Torah and the Bible believed by billions in Southern Africa today teaches without any shred of proof that humans appeared on the earth 6,000 years ago the Bible, the Quran, and the Torah. These findings, these proofs here, this evidence, first evidence of worship found in Botswana 70,000 years ago, emphasizes that human development was already prevalent 70,000 years ago other than the European one which tells you 20,000 years ago which they say was first detected in some places in Europe. More evidence about Botswana. Botswana believe the Matien creation story. At a time when rocks were soft, Matien came from the underworld through a portal in the ground, bringing with him his people and the wild and domestic animals and leaving his one-legged footprints on the soft rock here. One leg. This is something else. Here is Matien's footprint on the earth on a rock 
This is the geography of Botswana. They will never teach you. The question is, how old is the earth? How old is Botswana? According to one of the best accepted calculations, the age of the earth is about 4.5 billion plus or minus a few years. Very close to today's accepted age. This was determined by Claire Cameron Patterson using uranium lead isotope dating, specifically lead lead dating on several meteorites, including the Canyon Diablo meteorite and published 1956. It's still the standard. This is the rock that was used to calculate the age of the earth about 5 billion years ago. And these footprints were there on the earth when the rocks were soft. And the collective spheres that we have here found in Southern Africa also show that human beings already were advanced 3 billion years ago with machinery to groove parallel lines on a spherical metallic body or sphere, the grooved African sphere. So you see what it shows and what it pushes us to Matsyeng's age. Very, very ancient times. More about this. These are the things that they will not tell you about Botswana or Namibia or Southern Africa. Matsyeng's footprints likely were put on the earth when Southern Africa was a tiny island. Researchers here have shown this uh, in uh, Namibia three billion years ago. This is what we, we believe as Marifado research. More evidence, there are two geographical features that offer proof that Southern Africa was a tiny island four billion years ago. It is the Okavango Delta, which is a massive stretch of swampy inland delta that exists where the Okavango uh, reaches a tectonic trough. The delta is located in the central region of the Kalahari's Endor Basin. The water of the river never reaches the ocean as it evaporates during the dry season. The second proof is the Makalikali Pans, spanning 16,000 square kilometers and are the largest salt pans in the world here, yeah, found in Botswana. How did these form? How? Geologists tell us that they are a remnant of an ancient lake. How big would be this lake? We therefore say they are a remnant of an ancient ocean. That's Marifado. That's what we will say. All oh, these Mozambique, they were tiny. This was tiny island. A yeah, tiny island ri rising up. There is a lot of proof about this. This is what Marifado research is saying. The many migrations beginning uh, billions of years ago are never ever taught in black history. We have already uh, noted the Clackstop spheres, Matsyeng's or rock footprints, all indicating almost the same age with the Earth 4.5 billion years ago. Yet there is deliberate hiatus between subjects, especially between the history of Botswana, anthropology, geology, and genetics. Archaeological digs have shown that hominids have lived in Botswana for about 2.6 million years ago. We know that 3 billion years ago already Clectopsius destroys that. So these are some of the many migrations and many proofs that began 3 billion years ago. Here. So let's jump into some of these uh, migrations now. Evidence left by modern humans such as cave paintings Show that about years ago, people were already civilized, were making paint, and were already drawing animals. These are the two rhinoceros paintings at Sodilo, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Here, we know again that 4,500 years ago, 8 year old king of Hamid, Papi, Papi means where, Nefekare, to order his subordinate, Hurukufu, the governor, who was sent to Southern Africa to return on an expedition in South with a guest of the Mbuti people for him. These were revered people, honored people. Some important migrations that Botswana history does not clearly teach include the false Bantu migration from uh, Cameroon or eastern Nigeria. They say about 2,000 years ago, this group of farmers who lived in Central and East Africa, now it changes, really. 
started to move southwards looking for pasture. So the many migration, if Bantu's migrated from north to south 3,000 years ago, according to history, and we know that human origins occurred almost 2.6 million years ago in the east of Africa, how did they come to come here? Because of through of many migrations. We also know that they were already there in southern Africa anyway. Three billion years ago, Matsyang's footprints and Clectop spheres. The many migrations confused by so called Bantu migration is the problem. Which confined which historians and other teachers try to confine Africans or Bantus to one spot on the plate of Africa, but we were all over the earth. The sun did not own cattle, but hunted wild animals and gathered wild fruits and ate berries. The Tswana farmers wanted the land for their animals. Then they started to develop, and of course, there were tribal wars and tribal battles and tribal genocide. We have to accept that. So we moved from the north like that, here and then to Rabotswana into Zimbabwe. Already, this is one of the mi many migrations. It's not the original or the last, and it will never be the last. We are already and always moving. Tswana's migration from Kushi also and Hamiti also. Here is a proof. And see the dance they do. This is the dance that is done all over Africa. This is the dance by the Tswana's. And this is the dance by, in ancient Hamid. And this is the dance in Kush. And this is the dance in uh, West Africa. Same, similar with no difference. Common culture. Look at this. Do not, don't hesitate. Studies have also proved that the population of Ahmed had Negro hair for C plus type. These men from Hemet, look at that. And this is men from South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Namibia, all over Southern Africa. Common culture. Many Botswana are from Hamid. This is one of the proofs that we are offering. Mantantisi, a warrior queen of the Soto tribe called the Batoga, which means wild cat people. The cat, revered in ancient Hamid, revered by us. In Southern Africa. She ruled during 1820s during the time of King Shaka. Look at what they are wearing here. And this is a Kamitian queen. Look at the, what they are wearing. Look at the hairstyle. Look at the forehead. And there. Look at the lips. Look at the nose. Look at the bangles. Look at that. Chishakati. All this is represented on the walls in Hamid like that. Same people from Hamid in Botswana. Look at that. Same people. This is a Mutswana and this is the Sphinx. And look at the necklace. Same people. The original Botswana major tribe branches comes from the Wahurushe, Balarong, Bakwena, which is the totem, the crocodile, and Bakla. In the 1600s, Rolong, Kalahari power stretched from Bantu country right into Nami central Namibia to Botswana frontier. The Kwena Huruche migrants founded Kwakwetse chiefdom in southeastern Botswana. Same people. Look at that. I think the evidence is overwhelming. It is unclear when Bantu speaking peoples first moved into the country from the north. This is what they are telling us, the geographers and the historians. Although uh, around 8600 seems to be a consensus estimate, look, they are voting on that. They're ignoring all the anthropological, geological, and other ancient evidences. Many migrations, they're ignoring that. This proto, now, these people, are, these historians are smart. They now introduce a term, proto, means before the Kalanga, were closely connected to states in Zimbabwe, as well as Mapungubwe state and the notable of this was Lomboshawa ruins, which is a cultural heritage site. Also in Botswana, with stone walls that have an average height of 1.8 meters. This is Kami city here. Now, this word Kami is similar to Kama, the royal Botswana house. Kama the Great. This is historical lessons they will never teach, they will never connect this together. And this Kama or Kami found in Zimbabwe and Kama found in Botswana 
is the same as Hamid. In the great civilization that we have ever had. See the buildings of, of stone like that. Same. Anyone who comes and tries to tell you something else is not telling you the truth. Is lying to you. Here's the Kami dance. Look at that. Same. The dance that we have already shown before. Another one. Same. More. This, this is in Botswana. This. And this is in Hamid. This is all over the earth. This is our dance. And this is our culture. This is us. This is Motswana tradition, Motswana culture. Look at that. Same, no difference at all. Same totems, as well as divinities, as in Hamid Kush, and any other melanin dominant culture, Bakwena, Batang, Lion, Baputi, Batlong, Nkovu, uh, Elephant, Bafong, Bakata, this is Dendera, and Batoya, this is totems all over the shore. This is everywhere. These are the tribe and totems and their location in Botswana. The Nare, Buffalo, Tene, Baboon, Quena, Crocodile, Mutia, Rabbit, Chappy, Fish. These are my totems too. All of them. These are our totems. Habo, Monkey, Takadu, Antibe, Samban, Put, Juika, Mpof, Mof. Nare, Buffalo, Impala, Joe, Elephant, Chobe District Central, all over in Botswana. This is the totems here. Crocodile, totem, Bakpena, Kweneng District. This is what was drawn on the walls, and this is also in Hamid. The fashion, same. Nation Hamid continues in modern Africans. In Hemet, the leopard skin was worn by priests, sangomas, shamans. It's still worn in ceremonies in modern day. Africa from West Africa to Southern Africa. Ingwe. Ingwe. Ngwe. This is, this is it. <laughs> Straight clear. We want to dedicate this uh, sharing to our oneness and unity of all men and dominant people. And honor great minds. And great people in our ancient times, from our ancient times, in our lineages and bloodlines. This is Chief Gaboren, a much paying Gaboren, was in Kosi, chief of the Tlokwa, a tribe, the larger Tswana people in what is now Botswana. This is where the capital city of Botswana is named. This is how it was named, this chief. And we want to conclude by saying we honor the great architecture and builder of a stable area in my Africa, Chief Kama, Chief of the Bamangwato tribe, the original, the first to rule that place after the colonization by the Europeans. In conclusion, we know that there was no country called Botswana. It never existed. But now, it's amongst us, having been founded and created by Europeans as a European nation, not our nation. The borders are not ours. This is what my father family group believes and teaches. The teaching of King Mereyakare, he says, speak thus concerning the barbarian. As for the wretched Asiatic, Unpleasant is the place where he is from, with trouble from water, difficulty from many trees, and the roads thereof, awkward by reason of mountains, he does not dwell in one place, being driven hither and yon through want, going about at the desert on foot. That's why the Chinese are coming to Africa, trying to colonize us now, and taking all our Africa. He has been fighting since the time of Oresu. He never conquers Yet he is not conquered and he does not announce a day of fighting like a thief whom a community has driven out. Very clear there is something that he has said there which is very very interesting when it comes to the origins of the Europeans, the origins of the Asiatics, the origins of the Chinese and many many other groups there. We have barely scratched the surface of this whole story but we shall continue. We invite you to subscribe to our channel. Hamid Hebrew Ethics, and also visit us on our website where you can join and 
be registered and start to use our app connect at marfado.com thank you have a great day thank you very much <music>